Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So my goal today is to demonstrate that you can run Ultra Textures on a 2 gigabyte VRAM card in Watch Dogs. Now the recommended VRAM for Ultra Textures is 3 gigabytes, and lots of people have said trying to run Ultra results in stuttering and problems like that. I've found some tweaks that will allow you to run Ultra Textures and don't in my opinion affect the look of the game at all. Now these are my system specs. I've got an MSI GTX 760 Twin Frozer. I am overclocking it, but it's no manual overclocking. I'm just using MSI Gaming App with the automatic overclocking mode. So that's fairly easy. Um, people who want to use it, I'll link it in the description. So what you want to do is you want to open the Wash Dogs XML file. This can be found um, in this file here. It's basically if you go to um, C Drive, Users, Your Name, Documents, My Games, Watchdogs, into here, and you will find this. You want to open it with Notepad, which allows you to edit it, and then you want to slide over here. Ignore all the settings. Um, there are some other recommended settings you can change to change the look and feel of the game, but for this there's only two settings you need to worry about and that's these two now when you put your game onto um, ultra textures these will both go into ultra now what I've done is I've changed them both onto high um, it doesn't in my opinion change the look of the game it, other people might find errors where it does but this is what I've done and I like it so I've done this you want to just change that and save it um, if you want to cr create a copy of this on your desktop or in another file just so you've got a backup if you want to revert to that so let's have a look what it looks like let's wait for the game to pop up, there we go um, these are my settings um, running it in HD I have a PAL TV so I'm setting it to 50 uh, you can set it to 60 if you wish, you're never going to get 60 frames a second anyway so it doesn't make too much of a difference um, I'm not capping, I usually cap the frame rate, I'll set it to 60 and cap the frame rate to 30 but I'm not doing it this f for this video just so people can have a look what the frame rate is like with ultra textures running. I found setting this too high um, can result in problems, so set it to 2 just to buffer 2 frames. Um, I prefer the look of TXAA times 2 but it'll knock your frames per second by about 3 or 4 frames. Um, so for this video I'm just going to use Temporal SMA, um, but that's personal preference. Graphics quality, level of det detail, ultra, shadows. Now to run ultra shadows and ultra textures I find is not possible, it's just too um, stuttery unfortunately, but high shadows still look very good. Reflections Ultra. This is again personal preference. I believe HBO Plus looks better in low than it does in high in this game for some reason. Um, I dislike motion below and I dislike depth of field. These are not going to affect your frames per second at all, really. Water Ultra Shader High. Now let's have a look what it looks like in game. So let's just have a drive around. Unfortunately, Shadow Play, which I'm using to record, does seem to be affecting my frames per second slightly, but not too much. But but what's important here is, of course, the stuttering. So let's go and have a look in the city. Now, not very cleverly, I've made my push to talk button caps lock, so it's quite tricky to drive. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, as you can see so far, no stuttering. Whoops, the water looks good. I love the water in this game. I find it absolutely stunning. One thing Ubisoft do quite well. Let's have a look around. Some people still looks good. No stuttering, re stuttering really. Uh, you have to forgive my horrible driving here. I'm usually not this bad, but trying to push caps lock and drive at the same time is quite complicated. So driving in the city now, sitting around 40 frames per second, 
there's a little bit of a stutter. You are going to get some stutters still, unfortunately. It's impossible to get rid of them completely. But I, I find this playable. I enjoy playing it like this, and I like the ultra textures. They just look that much better, and they're worth it in the end. So driving into the city, it's nice and habitated. I like the way they habitate their game. Um, the load distance in this game is horrible, as you can see cars popping in very close. Um, that's that's Ubisoft's. Oh, I don't know. They 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 they've done something weird there, and it's it's quite horrible. Lots of people complaining about that. I'm still running fairly well. City looks great. I'll see if I can create a traffic tram. Oh no, unfortunately no lights are there. Let's see if I can create a traffic jam and see how the frames per second hold up there. Uh, not enough cards. But anyway, as you can see, it all looks it looks great. Um, you are gonna, still going to get some stutters, but it's not unplayable, both driving. Um, when you're walking, you'll get no stutters at all. The faster you go, the more stutters you get, but even driving, as you've just seen, is really not that bad. I play it like this, I enjoy it like this. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this. I hope it works for some people. Uh, it's just uh, just a brief, brief explanation of how to get your ultra textures running on 2GB of VRAM. Thank you very much. Goodbye.